everyone, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited to talk all about the Jujube Super B. This is one of my all-time favorite bags to take to the beach, to the pool, to Great Wolf Lodge, and traveling in general. It just, as you can see, holds a ton. I have this thing totally packed for the pool for all three of my boys, and I do have things for myself in here as well. As you saw in the on the body part of this video, you can wear this bag with the tote straps over your shoulder, but you can also wear it crossbody and over the shoulder with a messenger strap as well if you wanted to purchase one of those separately. This has D-rings, one on each side, so you can easily just attach a messenger strap if you want to wear it that way. I tend to just carry it with the tote straps and the crook of my arm, and that's all I need. <laughs> So I have the Super B here in the new Beachgoers print. I really, really love this print. It is so summery. I love all the beach scenes on the front here. The bag is kind of in between being a very, very pale peachy pink and a very, very pale creamy tan. It's a very sandy type of color, which I love. It is so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the packing portion of this video and kind of go over some of the features of this bag. In the very front of the bag here, you have two deep pockets, one on each side here that go all the way down. So you can put tall things in there. This is a great pocket to put in a water bottle if you want to do that. When I was taking this bag out this past weekend for a pool party, I actually brought my diaper bag as well as this bag and also another Super B because we had so much stuff to bring with us, but this was like our main bag that we kept everything in. So the reason why I don't have any water bottles in this bag right now is because they were in my diaper bag for that day. The very front pocket here has a zippered compartment that goes about halfway down this pocket. So this is a great little place to put your phone, your keys, things you don't want falling out if you are at the beach or the pool. But these pockets are open here and go all the way down. That is all that you have on the front of the bag. As I mentioned, you have these really nice tote straps up here, which have a really great drop length. There's nothing on the sides of the bag. On the very back of the bag, you actually have a slip pocket with a snap closure here. I don't have anything in this pocket because I didn't need to utilize it for this particular way of packing, but this is a great pocket to put flat things in. And if you intend to use this bag as a diaper bag, this is a great place to put a change pad or if you wanna keep your planner in there, things like that. But in this video, I don't have anything in there. I fit most everything on the inside of the bag. This bag has loads of space, and one of the things I like about it is that you can actually use it with the bag open on top. So this is how I have it packed up on top. You can also use the plackets inside with the zipper to close it, but because I have this so full on top and I wanted things to be able to have space up here, that I just left it open. So that actually works great for a pool bag. So let's go ahead and jump into the packing portion of the video. All right, this thing's a beast, so let's go through it. On this side over here, I have my keys. And then right underneath that, I have a bag with my sunglasses in it. In the middle pocket here, I just have my phone standing straight up and down. If that gives you an idea of how much space you have in there, you have like a little space extra down here that you don't get to utilize. But I kind of like that this is just easy to access. But this is an iPhone 11 Max Pro, which is a good size phone and it fit up and down in there and zipped, no problem. That's all that I had in that pocket. On this side here, I have two tall things. I have some sunblock, which we got into that a ton at the pool party to make sure nobody ended up getting a burn. And then I also have some bug spray because we were there for a very long time. That was like an eight hour pool party. So um, I have some bug spray just in case. That's all that I had in the front of the bag and I don't have anything in the back. So let's go ahead and jump to the inside of the bag. So I already showed you guys how I have the top portion packed up. I have it like this. Now, as I go through this bag, it is going to collapse because it is a very foldable kind of tote. I will show you when it's all empty, just how small it can get because it's perfect for travel. But as you can see, I have three rolled towels. So I have one that's a little bit smaller and then two that are bigger for my older two. I'm gonna leave these in here for just a minute and go through some of the things on this side of the bag because this side is just the towels, but this side has a lot more going on. So on the top here, I have a bead dapper in the Summer Stripes print. This is a great bag for all kinds of things, as you will find out when I open this. <laughs> You'll see what I have in here. So in here, I just have some of our swim items. So I have two pairs of goggles, one for my oldest son, one for my middle son, and then I have some water wings in here. So I just flattened them out. 
So I have one set here, and then I have another set here. So this was just the perfect size to hold those extra items, but the bee dapper can be used for like a makeup bag and it can hold a bunch of diapers and wipes and all kinds of things. I love them. Also, if you guys see anything in this video that you've got to have, I will link as much as I can down in the description below for you. And if you guys want to shop Jujubee with me at any time, I will leave my affiliate link down in the description below for you as well. Thank you so much to everybody who does use that. All right, next I think I am going to go through the towels now that I went through the bedapper on top there. So right here, I have my son's Mickey Mouse towel. I just rolled it up real tight like this and had it up and down in there. So that's number one. And then I have two identical towels rolled up tightly as well, standing straight up and down. And here is the third towel. I rolled them all the same just so that they would fit in there perfectly. And now that I have those removed, you can see what I have left in there, but you can also see a little bit more of the organization as well. So let's go ahead and go through this first mesh pocket here. In this bag here, I have my wallet bag basically. <laughs> so um, this is my things that are just keeping it separate from everything else, but that I can access easily if I need to. So in here I have my wallet. This is a Lily Jade amber wallet. I love it so much. If you guys want to see a review on this wallet, I will link it right here for you. I also have a small set piece in the summer stripe print here. And in here, I just have a few things for myself. So I have my inhaler. Brought this just in case we ended up doing some crazy sports at the pool party, which we didn't end up doing, but I do need to have this with me if I'm doing any sort of exercise. I also have a hair tie, a folding hairbrush, a chapstick and a lip gloss. And that's all that I had in my small set piece. So that's what I had in my large set piece in the Beachgoers print. Now the last thing to go through is my Summer Stripe Be Cool. This thing has three changes of clothes in it. And I will show you guys that real quick. Let's move this bag out of the way. I have this thing stuffed to the brim. Let's go ahead and open it up. So the Be Cool is actually an insulated bottle keeper, but you can use it for lots of different things. And as I mentioned, I put three changes of clothes in here. On the top here, I have my Littlest's. This is his change of clothes. I will show you guys how I rolled these because um, as you can see, I fit three whole sets in here. So this is how I rolled everything up. I put the t-shirt on the bottom, a pair of underwear, and a pair of shorts down in there. And this is just the best way to fold clothes, even if you are doing a trip and you want to fold your own clothes together to make more space. Do it this way because it saves a ton of space. So this was on top. That is for my five-year-old. For the second pair of clothes, this is for my eight-year-old. I folded it all the same way. Pair of shorts, pair of underwear, and a t-shirt. And then for the last one is the largest, which is my 11 year old's clothes. You definitely always want to bring a change of clothes for your kids if you are going to the beach or the pool. That way, if they have something wet on, they can change into something dry. For me personally, there's nothing that feels grosser than just being soaked through. <laughs> I do not like being damp. So this was a huge must have for this bag. So this is his shirt with a pair of shorts and a pair of underwear as well. So that is all that I had in my Super B for the pool. Let's bring our bag back out. So now that I have my Super B empty, I can show you exactly what the inside looks like. So on the back here, I'll show you guys, you have a zippered compartment here that can store keys, wallet, phone, anything you want to keep dry. Speaking of keeping it dry, we had a huge rainstorm during the pool party we were at and this stayed dry. It was great. Everything inside of it stayed dry. I love that. But anyway, so here's the inside on this side. You have a key leash down here and then you have two mesh pockets that have the summer stripe trim down there as well. So this bag has loads of space and I also want to show you guys as I promised um, that this bag does get really tiny if you wanted to fold it and keep it in another small bag if you're traveling. Once again rolling it up is the way to go. 
So this can fit into a large set piece. It can also fit into a be quick. And if you put this into your bag, then you will have a whole nother bag that you can use. Say you go to Disney or something, you can just whip this out and have a whole nother tote to use. So I love this. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. I love the Super B and I highly recommend it. I have several. They are one of my favorite GGB bags. If you guys want to shop GGB with me, I would love that. I will leave my affiliate link down in the description below for you and you can shop through it anytime. Thanks for watching.